Hey everyone, so today I'm going to show you how to use Perplexity AI for language translation. This feature can help you translate text between different languages accurately and efficiently. So let's dive in. First of all, visit the Perplexity AI website at perplexity.ai and sign up for an API key if you have not already. You can do it by first of all sign up on your Perplexity AI platform and then get on the bottom left corner, select the settings icon. Now get to the top right corner and select API section. Now here select docs. Now select get started. And here you can get the process of how to get an API key. This key will grant you access to Perplexity AI's translation services. Next, set up your development environment, ensure you have the necessary libraries and dependencies installed to interact with the Perplexity AI API. Prepare the text you want to translate. This could be any textual content such as documents, emails or web content that needs to be translated into another language. Integrate the Perplexity AI API into your application by configuring it to send your text data for translation. This involves setting up the appropriate API endpoints and handling the requests and responses. Specify the source and target languages for your translation request. Perplexity AI supports multiple languages, so make sure you set the correct language codes. Send your translation request to the Perplexity AI API and receive the translated text. Ensure that your application can handle the API response and display the translated text appropriately. Review the translated text to ensure accuracy. While Perplexity AI provides high quality translations, it always good to verify the output, especially for critical content. And that's it. By following these steps, you can use Perplexity AI for language translation, enabling your applications to communicate across different languages effectively. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tips. Thanks for watching and see you next time.